Bloomfield's side stayed up without having to rely on too many howlers like those, but he really needed the cutting edge of a proven goal scorer. He's there! Huddersfield's Frank Worthington fitted the bill, but he wouldn't be easy to capture or apparently easy to tame. Whereas Leicester come in with about 120 grand, I think. Liverpool came, came in with about 150 grand. It's a week's wages now, isn't it? But it was then, it was a British transfer record fee. Jimmy Bloomfield was in a bidding war with Bill Shankly for Frank, and he only got his man after Liverpool balked at Worthington's lifestyle. There was only ever two or three wives or girlfriends in this little piddly room we used to have for a player's lounge. And Frank comes in, and if you can picture it, uh, first of all, the tightest denim jeans you've ever seen in your life, and I mean tight, I'll leave the rest of the imagination. Knee-length boots, big buckle belt with Elvis across, black T-shirt with uh, glitter with Elvis across the black T-shirt, and a black velvet jacket with little rosebuds all over it, and a Stetson. Whatever Elvis wore, I wore. <laughs> and then Alan Woolley and Mike Shrinkfeller would follow. <laughs> I'm joking, Will. The next home game we played, the players' room was rammed. <laughs> Every player's wife and, that could get in there was in there to see Frank. He was a character, he was an unbelievable fella, you know. But uh, what a great player. to Leicester by Gemmell. Here's Worthington with a chance. Yes! Well taken, Worthington. Knock it up to Frank, and it was up to him whether he gave it back to you. He could keep it for a couple of days. He used to drive John Samuels balmy. Worthington, beautifully done. Takes on England again. Check. We knew Frank was going to do his own thing because he was so skillful and scored his fair share of goals. It's there! A beautiful goal by Wellington! But terrific ability. His right foot probably wasn't anywhere near his left, but his left foot was a bit special. You don't see many too many left-footed players about, and they seem to ooze with class. If he had a bit more pace, he would have been the ultimate. The all they've got to do is give me the ball. And then, you know, you just do the rest with your own instincts, with your own abilities, and your own uh, you know, style of play. And uh, Lenny Glover on the left-hand side and myself, we had a, we, we developed this telepathic understanding. And Glover was electric. <laughs>